Hello students, in the previous sessions we discussed about how to describe a graph and also how to answer reading comprehension questions. In this session we are going to talk about essay writing. Right? So this, is, this would be really helpful for you because uh, this is an important part that appears in your paper. And uh, in this session, we are going to talk about how you have to structure your paragraphs, how you have to, you know, what you could, you have to include in your paragraphs. So without further ado, like let's move on to our first slide. So as I told you, this is one of the write-up questions that you get under test 16. Right? So this comes in test 16. So the objective of this question is to evaluate your writing ability. So they are going to check whether you can write something uh, properly. Right? And uh, so why we chose this particular section is because most of the students do not attempt this question they think that this is really hard and they think that it is hard for them to score marks for this question. But if you go through the marking criteria properly, you can see that this question carries 15 marks. And all these, all these uh, marks are allocated for different sectors, right? And here you have to write 200 words. So see the marking criteria, you can see like for the content, you get five marks. And also for the organization, you get two marks. Content means what you include in your essay. So it can be facts, points, examples. So they check whether they are relevant to the topic. And if you have written something relevant to the topic, you get five marks. And also organization. So they check whether you have included paragraphs, whether you have a flow in your essay. So if you have all those things, you get two marks. So even if you don't, uh, if you can't, if you if you leave out language and mechanics of writing, still you get seven marks, right? So, Godak Lamai Hitanawa may prashne harima maru prashne akila. Have by Varanogula marking criteria like a balua to Gulanta Penawa, Anthur Gathe to Gulanta Lakunu Pahak Labadeno. Eva game Ogulange organization Walter Lakunu deka copy deno. Etha Kutta, Anthur Gathe Kiana, Ogulam, Matru Kavata Adalva, Monohari, Liela Tiena, the Kiena Eka. Matru Kavata Adalva, Monohari, Liela Nang, Ogulanta, Eka. Puluan lakunu paha clubagan. Eva game a paragraphs, hurry at a bedala tianavanang, hurry at a flow ekak tianavanang, ugulanta lakunu, dekak deno. Hari the eke hinda may prashne aptari natua, adutarme, podi at a hari, komari, paragraphs tunak liagana, utsahakara. Right? So now we are moving on to the most important thing, right? Most of the students, what they do is, when writing an essay, they just read the topic and then they start writing the essay. You should not do that, right? You have to follow certain steps before writing the essay. So, first, what you have to re do is, like, you have to read the topic carefully. Read it carefully. Read the topic twice or thrice and try to understand what they expect you to write, what they expect you to include in the essay, right? And next, what you have to do is you have to underline the keywords. What do you understand by keywords? Keywords means important words. So, now for an example, sometimes you are given a uh, small topic such as value of reading, good health habits, right? So then it is easy for you to be focused. But sometimes you are given long topics such as flood is not a natural disaster but something man-made. So in long topics like that, sometimes you can get confused. Right? So it is better if you can underline the important words. So then you know what you have to include in the essay. Whenever you look at the topic, you know what you have to write. Right? What, you, what are the points that you have to write in the essay. So, and also, before writing the essay, you have to plan it properly. Plan what you are going to include in the essay. So later on, like, in the slides to come, we, I'm going to show you how to draw a sketch, how to draw a mind map, right? Before that, like, you just keep this point in your head. Before writing the essay, you have to plan it 
properly right so just point in point form write down what you are going to include in the first paragraph what you are going to include in the second paragraph right so then it would be easy for you so methandi api katha kare ogolang rese ekak liyana kota mulinma topic ekak balapu gawamma ese ekak liyanna yanna epa issela hondata kiyawala therun ganna balanne ese ekak mokak ganada liyanna oni kiyala හරිද ඊට පස්සේ ඕගලන්ට කරන්න පුළුවන් ලේසිම දේ තමයි වැදගත් වගේ කියලා හිතන වචන ටික යටින් ඉරි අඳගන්න ටොපික් එකේ වැදගත් වචන වලින් යටින් ඉරි අඳින්න හරිද ඊට පස්සේ ඕගලන් ලියන්න කලින් ස්කෙච් එකක් අඳගන්න අපි බලමු අපි කොහොම දේ කටු සටහන අඳගන්න කියලා මේ මෙන්න මේ ටික මුලින් එසේ එක ලියන්න කලින් කරන්න එතකොට ඕගලන්ට ලේසි මේකට මොනවා හරි කරුණු ටිකක් ලියා ගන්න හරිද රයිට් So, in the next slide, we are going to talk about the components of an essay. What we should include in an essay, right? So, normally in an essay, you have to have a title. You have the topic. So, the topic, you should write the topic in the middle of the line and then underline the topic. And then, in an essay, you have to have paragraphs. So, you can have the introduction, the body and the conclusion, right? So here in the next slide there's a picture of a burger you can see a picture of a burger right so when it comes to a burger in a burger we have the top bun top bun and the middle layer and the bottom bun right so likewise in an essay also we have a structure so we have to follow that structure so the top bun or the introduction the middle layer or the body and the bottom layer or the conclusion right so if now for an instance think that we take out one of these buns right from the burger so we can't call it a burger likewise if you like miss out something in the structure of the essay it doesn't become an essay anymore right so make sure that you include all these paragraphs in your essay so methandi then balanna ogolanta structure aakruti mona hari deyak api liyana kota ekata aakrutiyak thiyena hari thara man mulinma kiwwa ogolanta organize karana vidiyata ogolanta lakunu labenawa kiyala etakota ogolange essay eke rachanawe ogolan athulath karanna ona handin wima introductory paragraph ekak ita passe body ekak thiyenna one ita passe conclusion ekak thiyenna one hari thara so for the body paragraph body ekata you can have few like uh two slide uh, two paragraphs or three paragraphs that is up to you to decide ogolam kamati paragraphs pramanaya body ekata include karanna puluwa harida ha bai awama washen eka paragraph ekak hari liyanna oni body ekata clear so you can include two paragraphs three paragraphs that is up to you to decide right but at least in your essay there should be three paragraphs there should be the introduction the body and the conclusion right so now let's see what we have to include in each of these paragraphs right so when comes to the introduction in the introductory paragraph you have to say like you have to briefly explain what the topic is about right and also you have to say what you are going to include in the essay mulimma thiyana paragraph ekak thamai handin weema etore handin weema di api mokadda karanne api මාත්‍රකාව හඳුන්වලා දෙන්න ඕනි මොකක්ද මාත්‍රකාවේ මාත්‍රකාව මොකක් ගැනද ඊට පස්සේ අපිට පුළුවන් අපි essay රචනාවේ ඉතුරු paragraphs වල ලියන්න යන ටික පොඩ්ඩක් explain කරන්න right so that is enough and then we are moving on to the body so there what you have to do is you have to explain your points right elaborate your points and give examples so at least try to give one example for one point right so when you provide examples like it would be easy for the reader to understand the message that you want to convey right so body ekedi api karanne man kiwa golanta paragraphs ekatu karanna puluwan taman kemathi gana aduma tarame dekak hari ekak hari wat tiyenno ni body ekata etukota ekedi ogolang ඇතුලත් කරන කරුණු විස්තරාත්මකව විස්තර කරන්න. එතකොට අඩුම තරමේ එක කරුණකට එක එක්සාම්පල් එක ගන්න හරි දෙන්න උත්සාහ කරන්න. එතකොට ටිකක් වැඩිපුර අපිට ලකුණු ලබා ගන්න පුළුවන්. right? so then we are moving on to the conclusion. so the concluding paragraph in the concluding paragraph what you have to do is you have to summarize your ideas. 
and make sure that you don't introduce new points in the conclusion, right? And uh, also, uh, you can end your essay by adding your point of view, and then you can include a saying, a wish, a piece of advice, right? So when it comes to the conclusion, what you do is you summarize your ideas, and you are not going to introduce new points, right? Eta kota api me conclusion ne ke edhi karanne aluten points api handun wala denne nahe. Hamath isse ma api ape khaling khata kara puti ke saara anche akta mai api conclusion ne kata atul karanne. Eta passe api te pulu wang ape rachana avavasan karanne ekko kauru hari kiya pu eka kiya mana ka api te use karanne pulu wang ekko golang hitta ne vidya liyanne pulu wang ekko golang balaporotu ena de liyanne pulu wang. So that is how you have to end your essay, right? I hope that this is clear for you and I told you that I'm going to show you the, show you how you can draw a mind map, right? So here, this is a mind map based on the topic value of reading. So this is on the topic value of reading, right? So you can see there are like, you can see in the middle like uh, there's the topic and here there are a few branches, right? So here you have the introductory paragraph and there here you have the conclusion and you can see for the body I have included three paragraphs, right? So in the introduction, I'm going to tell what reading is, what is reading and then I'm going to explain why a person should read, right? So I'm going to have a separate paragraph to talk about the materials that we have, sources such as educational books, magazines, newspapers, and the value of them. And I'm going to have another paragraph to talk about advantages of reading, right? So there I have, in the point, have, uh, in the point form, I have noted down some points. And uh, the next paragraph is about, you know, like whether people read now and if not why why would be the reason right and finally the concluding paragraph comes and they are like I'm going to summarize all these points and I'm going to end the essay with the statement reading makes a full man right so this sketch you now you can see like almost all the things are here so when you are writing the essay then it is easy for you to write the essay, right? Because what you have to do is you have to look at the sketch and then you can go on writing, right? So f take few times and brainstorm and come up with a sketch like this, right? So then you don't have to worry when you start writing. Like sometimes what you do is if you like straight away start writing the essay, in the middle you have to stop writing and then you have to brain brainstorm what you are going to write next, right? So then uh, sometimes you may, might run out of points as well. And also you might miss the important facts that you have to include in the essay. So please don't do that. Come First draw the sketch and then move on to writing. Then monkey wa gulanta essay ka liyanna kaling akrutiya kadaganna kiyala. Edhura then api methi enne akrutiya rachana avakata value of reading kiyana rachana ave akrutiya tamai methi enne, right? Katu, katu satahana. Etta kota make edhi api ta pulu ang hama paragraph eka kata ma api monada liyanne. Palaveni paragraph eke ma monada liyanne. Devani eka ta ma monada include karan noni kiyane ka katu eta satahan karagan. Etta kota api ta pulu ang essay ka liyaga ne ana kota api ta aima talu teng hitan noni Nah, make hard to start. Hana diha balala. Apa itu pulu ang? Esai ek liyan ek continue kerana. Itu kotu ogolan te lazy. Ani kak samahar velau te kalab velai te points miss pen na pulu ang. Haba api meh me hard to start. Hana kaya anda gatoh te ek sih dawen ne. Nah, hari itu. And also me me you are given few guidelines, right? So you you can you know include those guidelines in the sketch as well. Ogolan te instructions denua mana gana do ogolang. लिया नो नहीं किया ला रचना हुए तो कोटे ए टिका तभी ना मैं के कोहे कोहे हरी पैराग्राफ्स वाले टे इंक्लूड करेगा ना पुलवा इतने कोटे उगलां टे लेसी उगलां के ऐसे एक हरियत ऑर्गेनाइज कर ला हरियत फ्लो एक कुत्ते का ऐसे एक लिया ना राइट ओके सो दिस आर फ्यू पॉइंट्स दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर व्हेन य Stick to the word limit means what? So I told you that the word count is 200. So you have to 
you know hit the word limit and please do not exceed the word limit and the second point is really important because you uh, it says each paragraph should be relevant to the topic right so please do not get distracted by irrelevant details make sure that your points are ordered and they are relevant to the topic right godak velavata lamai anavashya karunu liyanawa me ese ekedi rachanawata avashya topic ekata adala nathi karunu liyanna epa etakoto e eken wenne ogolange wachana gana wachana pramanayat ogolanta nathi wenawa e wageema ලකුණු ලකුණු ලබා ගැනීමේදී ලකුණු ලබා ගන්නත් බැරි වෙනවා ඒ නිසා උගුලන් හැමතිස්සෙම මාතෘකාවට අදාළ කරුණු ටික විතරක් ලියන්න උත්සාහ කරන්න අර කටු සටහන මං කියපු විදියට ඇඳගත්තොත් මේ දේ සිද්ධ වෙන්නේ නැහැ right and the next point says keep it simple right always try to write simple sentences that is not a problem right so don't try to write complex sentences unless you are very confident about what you are writing so when you make com when you write complex sentences what happens is there's a high possibility for you to make mistakes right so always try to write simple sentences because like you are trying to get marks for this question right and hamati sema liyana karunu sarala vakya liyana eka prashnayak ne ugulanta puluwang vidiyata sarala vakya liyana wachana pahak wenna puluwang eka vakya ekak tiyena eka prashnayak ne habaya godak sankirna vakya liyanna yanne pa eken wenne ugulanta samahara welawata wedipura grammar mistakes careless mistakes siddha wenna puluwang e nisa saralawa ugolange rachanawa liyanna right and uh, try to avoid grammar and spelling mistakes and also please uh, uh, reread the essay once you finish writing and uh, check whether you have done uh, uh, grammar mistakes and uh, also careless mistakes right and be careful about capitalization and also uh, uh, pay attention to punctuation marks right and uh, the next point says use cohesive devices so cohesive devices means linking words linking words linking words are used to connect sentences can be paragraphs right so like uh, in the next slide i have provided you a table uh, that shows different types of cohesive devices so you can use them in your essay right uh, api metanin cohesive devices kiyana eken adahas wenne sambandaka wachana etakota ogolanta puluwang මේ and but so because since වගේ සම්බන්ධක වචන යොදා ගන්න ඔයගොල්ලන්ගේ essay එකේ paragraphs connect කරන්න එතකොට වාක්‍ය connect කරන්න right ඒක ඔයගොල්ලන්ට ගොඩාක් වැදගත් වෙනවා මොකද එතකොට ඔයගොල්ලන්ට පුළුවන් flow එක maintain කරන්න essay එක එතකොට there's a flow in the essay right so make sure that you use these devices as well and so this chart shows like uh, the types of cohesive devices that we can use right and uh, especially when um, uh, writing the conclusion you can use cohesive devices such as finally therefore to conclude and when giving examples right you can use cohesive devices such as these for example for instance so make sure that you use these things in order to connect your paragraphs and also to maintain the flow of your essay so please go through this sample essay and see like uh, how these cohesive devices have been used and also how the paragraphs are divided uh, you can pause the video and uh, and also i have to tell you that i have uh, highlighted and underlined the words cohesive devices so check how they have been utilized in the essay and uh, so we have come towards the end of our session and i hope that this would be really helpful for you and uh, you that this would be helpful to enhance your knowledge on how to write an effective and an ordered uh, essay and uh, so let me wind up today's session wishing you all the best Th have a nice day thank you